This week, we're going to use a new feature of MetPy 1.1, which is the plot geometry object in the declarative plotting interface to plot some NHC data. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I want to look at a recent event, Hurricane Ida, that just made landfall a few days ago, and a new feature in MetPy 1.1, the declarative plotting plot geometry interface. So you can go to nhc.noaa.gov GIS and get a lot of GIS products from the NHC. It's easiest to use the find feature in your browser to look for the date that you're looking for in whatever year archive you're in, and pick and copy and paste whatever product you want. For example, a 120 hour, five kilometer wind forecast. You don't need to download it though, because we can do that right in the notebook. So to start out with, I'm going to import geopandas and from metpy.plots.declarative, I'm going to import plot geometry map panel and panel container. Now, if you're not familiar with the declarative plotting interface, we've done a lot of videos on it already, and I encourage you to go check those out. I'm going to create a data frame called winprobs, and that's going to be geopandas.read file, and then the URL that we got from the NHC website. Go ahead and line wrap that just so it looks a little nicer. And that goes out, gets that zip file, unzips it, and reads it using GeoPandas. Pretty handy. And if we look at that data frame, we see it's a data frame with a zero-based index that doesn't really mean anything, a data series called percentage that tells us the percentage uh, probability, and the multi-polygon, which is in the geometry data series. All right, so now that we've got a pretty simple data frame, it's time to go ahead and make our plot. I'm going to use the plot geometry object, the brand new in MetPy 1.1. I'm going to set the geometry to be our WinProbs data frame, the geometry data series. So that's all those multi-polygons. We're going to fill, and these are those good old X11 colors that will look very much like the NHC map. No perceptually uniform color maps this week. Dark goldenrod, orange, red, dark red, and Violet. Okay, let's create a panel. So we're going to use a map panel because this is georeference data. I'm going to set the area to be the Louisiana region using that Jimpack like state syntax. Remember, you can add pluses or minus to that minus to that now as well. I'm going to specify a Lambert conic conformal projection. For my layers, you may be tempted to add a lot more layers, but it's just going to slow your plot down. And really, you're not going to see much difference in a plot like this than with just land, ocean, and states. For a title, I'm gonna say Hurricane, Ida, Wind, Probability. And we're going to set the plots attribute to be a list of all the plots that we want, which in this case is just that geo object. And finally, we need a panel container. We set the panels attribute to be all the panels, which in this case is just one called panel. And then we call pc.show to get that panel container to actually draw everything that's in here. So depending on the complexity of how many polygons you're drawing and how complex they are and what you have in the map background, 
This will take a minute or so to plot, depending on, again, what you've exactly plotted. Okay, so there we've got our plot. It doesn't look too bad, but we can go ahead and dress it up a little bit more. For example, we don't need these outlines for the uh, different boundaries, and we really, we're not shading the less than 5% boundary. We're not so interested in it, so we don't need that line for sure. And having some labels on these lines might be good as well. So we're going to do all of that in our plot geometry object. Going to set stroke to be the string none. Notice not the Python type none. For labels, we're going to use our WinProbs data frame, the percentage data series. And then to make those labels stand out, we're going to set the label face color to be white. And there we go. With just a few lines of the new declarative plotting interface, we've got a pretty nice looking plot that would take a lot more code to do without it. Hope that you're enjoying the new features of MetPy 1.1, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.